Hi, my name is Steve Hullfish. I'm the author of The Art and Technique of Digital Color Correction and co-author of Color Correction for Video. One of the key aspects of doing good color correction is being able to analyze your image. And one of the most important ways to analyze your image is with a good external waveform monitor or rasterizer. There are at least four good reasons why I always advise using external waveform monitors. For me, the primary reason is resolution. The software waveform monitors get the leftovers when it comes to computing power. Apple and DaVinci and Avid are all much more concerned with giving their users a great user experience with no lag in response times or processing, so they devote most of the computing power in their app to the actual doing of the color correction. So, to lower the drain on the rest of the application, the waveform monitors are usually only a quarter resolution at best. Sometimes the waveform monitors in the app only sample every eighth line of video. Another important aspect is that internal waveform monitors are just showing you what the hypothetical output of the signal will be coming out of your computer. The Tektronix waveform monitors have the advantage of being on the other side of your video card, showing you the actual output. These cards put out video in the format appropriate for the distribution method and the color space of the final screen. For example, for HDTV, video is in a YCBCR format with a Rec. 709 color space, which is how it will be distributed and viewed. Internal waveform monitors are just a simulation of that color space. When you're doing color correction, you need high quality definition and resolution. Look at the difference between the Avid waveform monitors and the Tektronix waveform monitors in these close-ups. Especially with small specular highlights, you could easily lose them with the internal waveform monitors. Tektronix waveform monitors look great. Even the lower cost WFM5200 has the same high quality. Another critical advantage of Tektronix waveform monitors is that they're easily configured and can show you the exact display or combination of displays that you want at a touch of a button. These types of waveform monitors allow you to customize the displays in infinite ways and save them as presets that can be recalled and changed very quickly. That's important when you're trying to get through a thousand grades in a day. You can't waste time scrolling through menus on a screen. One of the things you'll want to do when you're grading is add gain or zoom in to a particular area of the display, like the middle of a vector scope or the highlights of a waveform monitor. Most software waveform monitors can't do this at all. The ones that don't are completely worthless. With a Tektronix waveform monitor, the functionality is not only there, but it's easy to access. With the WFM5200, you can save two complementary trace displays, like an RGB parade and a vector scope. With other Tektronix monitors, like the 7000 and 8000 series, you can load up to four trace displays. Choose which displays and views you use in certain situations and save them as presets that you can recall with two quick taps. This is so important that I did a whole video about presets in this series. The final critical element is that Tektronix has patented several gamut displays and other features that simply aren't available on other internal or external waveform monitors. One of my favorite new Tektronix innovations is the Luma Qualified Vector Display. This is an exclusive Tektronix display commonly referred to as LQV. You can find this in the settings for the vector scope display. It allows you to display a specific tonal range in the vector scope. For example, to just see the highlights or just the shadows. This makes it much easier to find a good white or black point or to match what's happening with your high, middle, and shadow trackballs and what's happening on the Luma Qualified Vector. The other important displays that only Tektronix have are gamut displays. The diamond and split diamond displays may look a little foreign, but these are gaining greater acceptance for balancing footage in color correction and camera setup. To me, these are powerful displays that are very useful and you can't get them anywhere else. We'll show this in greater detail in another video, but the basics of the diamond are the blacks are in the middle of the display where the diamonds join. Whites are at the other ends of the diamonds. If the image is balanced, it basically runs right up the middle of the diamonds. When you get the hang of this, balancing is as easy as drawing a straight line. The spearhead display is another gamut display that helps with compliance to broadcast specs and with creative color correction. The spearhead is a great complement to the vector scope. Imagine color space described as two cones, brightness at the top of one cone, darkness at the bottom of the other. This is what the HSL color space looks like in three dimensions, more saturated towards the edges, less saturated in the middle, hues around the edges. Look at the cones like this and you have a vector scope. Turn them like this with black at the bottom and white at the top, saturation to the edges, and you've basically got the spearhead. 
The spearhead takes hue from two dimensions to one, though. So the spearhead and vector scope combined provide a great three-dimensional view of the color space. It's important to see these side by side because a vector scope doesn't really show saturation in isolation. The excursion of the trace on the vector scope, how far towards the edges it is, can be driven by saturation or value or both. The spearhead shows you the difference that the vector scope alone can't. On the WFM 5200, make a preset with these side by side like I have and experiment with them. Once you see the new information they provide, I think you'll find them very useful in doing good, efficient color correction. We'll touch on some of these points in more depth in other post-production videos. Check out the entire series of videos about using Tektronix waveform monitors for color grading, as well as an online demo of the Tektronix WFM 5200 on the Tektronix website.